I'd like to thank Ashtavam Gallery for recognizing my contribution to spiritual art. And to create abstract art, you're really dealing with the spirit of a line, the spirit of a color, the spirit of something. We've all had that experience where we see a tree on a hill and we say, oh, that looks like an old man or a dancer or an animal. And we say, is that the tree? Or is that us? And is that something that changes over time? That one day you see a dancer and the next day you see an old man? Very different spirits. Is that our inner bar emotional barometer that's allowing us to express ourselves through our imagination? And when you think of reflecting on a mirror, you see yourself. And in my work, I would like for people to see a part of their selves. And the idea early on was that if you go to the center, most personal part of yourself, that will be the universal self, those universal themes. And that's really what I'm trying to to find is the universal thing. What is makes us all human? What is it that keeps that that we wake up, we aspire to, we want, we have hopes, we have dreams, we have fears, we have successes, we have all of these different themes that are happening for us. And each one of these artworks goes into a different facet of our collective experience. That becomes the spirit of that experience, not the experience itself. It's the idea of a chair, the chairness, not a particular chair. And so in my work, I want to create an idea where you can reflect and see your universal self in the work. Is that going to make you a better person? Is that going to give you spiritual woo-woo-ness? Not sure. I think ultimately it's a song you hear that you relate to. And I don't know that it needs to have any higher elevation than that. And I think truthfully that is a high elevation of saying, this is a song that touches me. If I can create one art piece that touches one person, I think I've succeeded. If you have a chance, read my blog, because on in the blog, I go through a lot of these different subjects, and I don't want to explain away the mystery. I want to introduce you to the journey. And I actually prefer when someone sees something totally different than what I've seen. It enriches the piece and enriches me because then I can see something new in it and the piece becomes fuller because I have the ex original experience of what I saw, but then I also see what someone else saw and then I can see both at the same time. And that's why I paint abstractly. That's what abstraction, I think, ultimately is for. For us as viewers to be able to visit and be inside of it in wherever we want to be with it. And that one day it can mean one thing and another it can, we can see something totally different. And it's that magic of the when you think of spirit, it has nothing to hang on to. And that's what it should be, abstract art. Thank you, Ashtabam Gallery, for the certificate of honor for my contribution to spiritual art. And thank you so much for supporting spiritual art. We are not grains of sand. We are cells in a body. We are connected. The more we realize how much we're connected, the world becomes a better place. And so as you've uh, suffered through this video this long, please hit like, subscribe, share with people that you think would enjoy this. And I look forward to seeing you again. 
and sharing more art. You can also see more of my work at DwayneBalsfield.com and have a great day.